Sports Grid Live from Las Vegas. I'm Kevin Walsh, AEW president. Tony Khan, Tony, a pleasure uh, as always. Always my pleasure, Kevin. I love the sports grid. This is my favorite stop of the year. Uh, I am glad you said that. Three years in a row, it's been the highlight of my <laughs> Super Bowl, except the first year, we didn't have an interview scheduled. I just ran into you, Yeah. and I was like, this is the best thing. And now we've been able to do this. I want to start with this. Dynamite on Wednesday, the big announcement, big business. The, the style of the announcement, there's a lot of implications. We'll leave those out there for people, but... You guys have done something like this before. To, to my knowledge, you've kind of created your own way to advertise a really big show while leaving suspense in the air. Yeah, I think so. I think I found a way to have my cake and eat it, too. <laughs> and uh, yeah. we'll see what what comes next. But I'm very excited and a lot of people excited about AEW Big Business. <laughs> yes, uh, they are. I did. I made the drive to Blood and Guts. I don't know if I'll be able to make the drive to big business. I'll obviously be watching. I'm curious, though, since we're out here in Las Vegas, there's always AEW events on the calendar. You guys set on coming back here to Vegas for Double or Nothing in 2024? Absolutely. We've built a great tradition here in Las Vegas. I love it out here. And yeah. uh, I think it's very special that we're here where it all started five years ago, the site of the very first AEW show at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las yeah. Vegas. Uh, and you guys are live in Vegas uh, this weekend, I got to talk to Orange Cassidy, wrestling uh, Ishii. Is that something It makes a lot of sense to me, maybe a little collision, Super Bowl tradition type of deal? It's, this is the first year of collision, yeah. you know, and I think from now on, when I saw the opportunity, yes, I want to do it every year. So yeah. this is the first of many, I hope, bringing the collision to Super Bowl Saturday to the big game. That's perfect. I'm going to have to figure out my flights next year in New Orleans to make sure I get to the collision. Uh, sticking with the uh, events calendar, Right now, you guys are featuring a lot of CMLL wrestlers yeah. on the show. Fans are loving it, but fans also like to, you know, try and think a couple steps ahead. And Forbidden Door is not too far away. Could you see CMLL be involved in a yes. show like that if we're going to get a show like that again? 100% yes. I yeah. definitely want CMLL involved in practically anything we do. They're such a great partner yeah. already. It's been great. It's in our first year of the partnership, and we've been able to do some really exciting things working with them and mm -hmm. very excited to bring the CMLL wrestlers to Las Vegas this weekend. Yeah. Of course, John Moxley and Claudio Castagnoli, two of the best wrestlers in the world, no doubt, taking on two great stars from CMLL, Esfinge and Star Jr. Uh, and or if we do for Forbidden Door 3, do you still see a very heavy New Japan involvement in yes, that? Yes, 100%. There will be a Forbidden Door 3. Okay, great. And the AEW New Japan partnership is 100% here to stay. And, yeah. and Forbidden Door, a collaboration between AEW and New Japan, here to stay. And I think it'll be really interesting, depending on how things shake out roster-wise, because Osprey is in AEW now, Jay White's in AEW now. Kazuchika Okada is going to land somewhere. Um, but they still have now, of course, Tetsuya Naito, Shingo Takagi, but also Yoda Suji, Renarita, Shota Umino, who's been featured a ton in already those Forbidden Door shows, yeah. who you guys can now feature in a really prominent role, maybe some singles matches on Forbidden Door 3. Definitely. Shota's tremendous. All the people you named, what a great group of wrestlers. New yeah. Japan's got a great young roster right now. President Tanahashi is a perfect yeah. leader for the organization at the right time. Yeah. And uh, it's great working with New Japan and CMLL. Very excited about yeah. Forbidden Door 3 and very excited about what's coming up. This this time of the year is really always the best for AEW. The Road to Revolution is my yeah. favorite time of the year. And uh, this is really exciting. And this year's revolution it could be our best ever with Sting's final encounter, mm -hmm. with the three-way match, Samoa Joe defending the world championship against Hangman Page and Swerve Strickland, who both went to the limits last night. That was really, I thought last night was one of our best shows oh, yeah. on Dynamite, to have Hangman Page and Swerve Strickland go to the 30-minute draw, to have Sting and Darby Allin win the World Tag Team Championships. Huge cliffhanger with the Young Bucks stepping in. Yep. Really exciting things happening up and down the show. I think Tony Storm, timeless Tony Storm, and Deanna Perrazzo have built a great rivalry in 2024 for the women's world title. And up and down the show, a lot of exciting things happening. I'm really excited about Adam Copeland coming to AEW yeah. and feuding with Christian Cage. Uh, lots of great stuff. Uh, we have 
The World Trios champion Anthony Bowen sitting out here. Everyone loves the acclaimed. That's true. The international champion Orange Cassidy is on site doing interviews. He's wrestling Ishii, who would be a great international champion. And I love that we have the international wrestlers coming this Saturday to Collision yeah. with Ishii challenging for the international title from New Japan mm -hmm. against Orange Cassidy and to have great CMLL yeah. stars keeping their rivalry going against the Blackpool Combat Club. So I want to ask you, you're talking about kind of the path for AEW here. And right now, the vibe around AEW is fantastic. I am curious, though, because you, I thought, I think you've spoken pretty openly about it of when you guys were going into the Continental Classic of if fans want a sports based product, put your money where your mouth is, rankings are back. But I'm curious, do you felt that there was a moment where you guys were testing out a different style and maybe what led to that? I really believe that uh, the Continental Classic. It was something I wanted to do for a long time, but it was just the mm -hmm. right time. We had the right group of wrestlers and the ability with five hours of TV now with Collision. Yeah. And uh, I think we found a great groove in 2024. It's been, in my opinion, like you said, the vibes around the company are as strong as they've ever been. I don't know if it, it was trying out different style, trying out different things, but I know that we've hit on something right now yeah. uh, that is some of the best AEW we've ever done. 100%. The current state of wrestling is very interesting because you have all different reasons, but in WWE, a lot of changes. Vince out, probably for good. In TNA Impact, Scott Moore moved on from. Rossi, which you made a comment from, and Stardom moved on from. What are you kind of just seeing, kind of just in a very safe spot, though, right? Watching a lot of the wrestling landscape shift right now. It's a really exciting time for AEW right now. Uh, like we said, the the company is doing some of our yep. best wrestling ever. I think right now is the best AEW's been, and it's in Q1 2024, yeah. going into Revolution. It's an exciting time for the wrestling business. There are a lot of crazy things happening, and it's a, it's a really important time in wrestling for a variety of reasons. Some things outside of wrestling that are bigger than wrestling, but for us, yeah. we're doing the best wrestling we've ever done no in doubt. AEW right now. And something about the road to Revolution, man, this time of year. We, we And as you know, Kevin, uh, the card for Revolution this year is especially stacked. There's a lot yep. to look forward to, and uh, I think Right now, the state of the roster, I really believe. You mentioned Osprey coming in. I'm going to be very active. I think 2024 will be remembered as the biggest year ever for AEW. I, I have no doubt about that. I know you guys are going to go back to Wembley, uh, and I know there's going to be a lot of other stops along the way. I want to spend a, just a couple of specific guys. Uh, one, Kenny Omega. I know that that situation obviously was very, very serious. Is just any update on Kenny and how he's doing? Yeah, Kenny, uh, we were all very worried about him. He is doing yeah. better, but it's a, you know he was v seriously sick, and his life it could yeah. have been threatened had he not gotten to the hot doctors when he had. He was uh, really sick, and uh, he's thankfully doing much better. And, uh, you know, we're all wishing Kenny the best and yeah. hoping and uh, looking forward to mm -hmm. seeing Kenny Omega back in AEW as soon as he's healthy. No doubt. Uh, a wrestler who we haven't seen since World's End, which I was at, fantastic show. Uh, I was a. Uh, I enjoyed the world title match for a few reasons, but uh, we haven't seen MJF since that show. Any idea on when we may see him again? Well, it's uh, something to keep an eye on with MJF. He's a great wrestler for AEW and has been a great world champion. And uh, he was very injured, and uh, yeah. I would love to have MJF back any you know as soon as uh, any time. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, and then one more, because I, I have a Jaguars question for you. But Br Britt Baker, I feel we haven't seen in, in a little while. Any idea? Well, you know, Britt Baker's been out. She had, was injured, and there's okay. a lot of uh, times, you know, we have a lot of great wrestlers on yeah. the roster that have been out injured. So I think this year will be great not only for the great free agents, but also for some of the stars that have been sidelined coming back. Yeah, we could... I don't know if you could do an injury report in AEW the way you guys do with NFL. Cause it, probably it would be a heck of a report <laughs> right now. There's a lot of pretty long. It would be pretty long. Here's my Jaguars question for you. Something I was very, very wrong about was your guys double up in London. I thought that that could be a bit disastrous. Two weeks there, and you guys didn't take the bye coming back. You went, if I remember, I'll do my, my – you went home against in Indianapolis – 
Then you played Thursday night in New Orleans, and then we're in Pittsburgh, I think, coming off of two straight weeks in London. Yep. I think you guys won every single one of those games. Yeah. I, I, what were you guys expecting going into that? I think we expected it would be an advantage because really? we're the yeah. home team in London, and then for the next game, uh, being have you know we're the away team at Tottenham, but uh, but you know we were acclimated to being in London. We're uh, yeah used to it, and we've had good experiences playing there. And then we certainly came back and parlayed that into a lot of success in the games after that. And fortunately, in the second half of the season, did mm -hmm. not play as well. And uh, I think this year we have a lot to look forward to with the Jaguars. But what we built in London there, we built a gr great fan base, but also had some great games and great wins in London oh, yeah. over the years. Could you guys see that double up being a regular thing yeah, absolutely. for Jacksonville? Yeah, yeah, it's great being the home team at Wembley Stadium and the away team at Tottenham. Wembley Stadium is always the home of Tony Khan. Tony, uh, appreciate it as always. Tony Khan, AEW president, live on Sports Grid from Las Vegas. Uh, hope we do it again in New Orleans. I love it, Kev. It's great to see you, man. Awesome stuff. Thanks, bud. Thank you so much, Thank Tony. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.